Welcome, I'm Andrew Norma and I want to speak to you heart to heart today. I want to look at, I want to ask you a question. Are you ready to meet the Lord? You know, that, that is like, you know, a very, very important question for both you and I to think about and to be honest with ourselves about. Are you ready to meet the Lord? There's a little jingle that, you know, I used to hear. It says, a little song really, it says, Get ready, people, get ready, for the king a come back soon. Those who find themselves astray going face eternal doom. Men I know when he may come back, whether morning, night, or noon. But get ready, people, get ready, for the king a come back soon. Simply stated, we are being called in that song to get ready because the king is coming back soon. And whether it is morning, night, or noon, we don't know. None of us knows the time, the day, or the hour when Jesus will return. It doesn't matter how much of an apostle, prophet, you know, how close we are to the Lord. God has not revealed that to any one of us. Um, and so we need to be ready. Jesus himself said that the Son of Man does not know the day or the hour, speaking of himself, when, when the Father will want him to return to the earth to get his bride or the church. Um, so therefore be ye also ready, Jesus says to his disciples, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Alright, so, you know, don't just think that, oh, I know, I know when the Son of Man is coming. No, <laughs> you know, it, it, it will not appear like he should come at that time. It's an hour oh, when you think not. This is really serious, Jesus speaking to his disciples, you know, and telling them these are the gentlemen that he used to start the church. And he's telling them that, you know, listen, just be ready because... You know, if you think you're going to be able to say, well, I'm going to do my own thing now and then, as soon as I think the Lord is going to come, I'm going to try and get right with God to get ready. It, it won't work because you, you'll, be, you'll be deceiving yourselves. So God expects us as His children to be always ready to meet Him. That's, what, that's how He wants us to live, uh, to ready to meet Him in peace. You know, the first message that I ever preached after getting saved was this very same message, this very same message on are you ready to meet the Lord? That's the very same message that I preached. And I knew that I was ready. I was ready whether by death or by the rapture to meet the Lord. And I became concerned for my family members, people in my community. And I started to, I said, you know, listen, I, I, need, I need you guys to check yourselves and see whether or not you're ready. Um, yes, so God had caused me to turn from my sins. You know, I had turned from my sins, I turned from my iniquities, and I had opened my heart 100% and I had embraced the Lord 100%, and He had embraced me 100%. So I had that confident assurance and I was, that I was in fellowship with Him and walking in Him. And this is this assurance this morning that He has preserved me inside of. And this is that position from which I am coming to you and saying, I feel ready to meet the Lord. What about you? And you can have that same confidence that God has given me. You can have that confidence today. And this is what this, this talk is about. Is to, is to, is to have you to, to allow God to bring you into the same fellowship the same confidence that he has brought me into to say, yes, I want that. And so just as I did, you will have to run away from the evils in your life. You'll have to run away from the things that you're doing that you know don't please God. The unforgiveness, the, the, the things that you're doing in secret, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, just having your, wanting to have your own way and your own plan for your life. Knowing full well that you really don't have control over all of the, 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 the things that could affect that. And, and knowing full well that it may not work exactly as you planned. Um, because you don't control all of the, the factors affecting whether or not it works. But here's a God who has a plan for you. Who 
has looked down from eternity through the length and breadth of time and see all that you're going to go through and saying, come and let me make you ready so that you help, come and let me keep you in a state of readiness. You may be in the church and, you know, you may be flip-flopping. You may have known the Lord before, but you are in and out, in and out of sin. And, 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 and uh, you know, you don't know, if you take a sin break, you don't know that you're going to make it back. And so, here's the Lord inviting us to say, let me make you ready and keep you ready. Uh, you know, there are persons that say, I don't want to come and serve the Lord because... I don't want to give over to the Lord because I feel like I might fall back. When it's only when there's an I in there, I don't want to come because I don't feel that's not Christianity. Christianity is not just an I. Christianity is Jesus and, and I. Christianity is is a is a is a union with Christ. There is no I in Christianity. It's it's always Jesus and I. Right? And Jesus, will. if you're walking in Jesus, you will never fall. If you walk with Jesus, you won't fail. He knows how to lead you from earth to heaven with his eyes. And so the charge is before you die, seek the Lord. And the scripture, there's a scripture verse here in 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. It says, all scripture or the word of God is given by inspiration of God. And is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. So God wants to do a, a work in you that makes you know that you know that you know. He is the one that's doing it and, and has furnished the the, the, his death, burial, and resurrection allows God to do this perfect work in you of establishing a, a, a perfect relationship with, with Him, where with, 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 between you and Him, you both, we both, you and the Lord, I and the Lord, we can overcome and we can stay in that state of readiness that glorifies God. So God expects those of us who have already received the Spirit of Christ to stay in a state of readiness to meet Him. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. You can open your heart today and let God come in. Let Him come in and make you what He has purposed for you to be. Then said Peter unto them, Repent, be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes, turn away from sins. Identify with Jesus. Don't be ashamed of him. If you're ashamed to own him down here, he'll be ashamed to own you up there. So be ready to meet the Lord by identifying with him, suffering whatever we need to suffer um, to, in that identification because those that suffer with Christ shall also reign with him. Yes, get ready. Be ready. Stay ready to meet the Lord because he's coming soon. God bless you. Whether in life or in death, let us glorify God. And I pray that you'll be ready to meet the Lord. And the next time you hear that question, you'll be able to say, yes, I am ready to meet the Lord. God bless you. Love you. I affirm you inside of your faith. I affirm that you as one that God's love today, that who God loves today, in Jesus' name.